Good morning, family. My name is Layla. Hey, Panthers, and I'm Ryder. Today is Wednesday, October 18th. Today is a B-Day. Today's win time is block two. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weather today is mostly sunny. The high for today will be 66 degrees. There's a very low chance of rain. The moon phase is a waxing gibbous. Happy birthday today to Tony Pierce. According to National Today, today is the National Day of Unity. Continue to stand up against bullying. The October Reading Bingo and Comedy Wildlife are due to the library on October 27th. See Ms. Hamrick for the forms. Prizes will be announced at the end of the month. Reminder, charge those computers each and every night. The Teens for Christ Club will meet every Thursday morning at 710 in Ms. Gardner's Chorus Room. The Beta Club will meet Tuesday, October 24th and Thursday, October 26th. Tomorrow's Spirit Day is Old People Day, just like an old person. For anyone interested in photography, graphic design, and writing, be sure to get a 2023-2024 yearbook club application. Get an application from the front office and turn them into Ms. Wilkins or Ms. Bonham by October 20th. Ms. Lifford and Ms. Parker will be leading an American Sign Language Club. You can get applications from the office or library. They are due on October 20th. The first meeting will be on November 1st in Ms. Jordan's room from 2.45 to 3.30. Spread Kindness contest entries are due October 31st to Ms. Brinkley. The Governor's School for the Arts is holding an open house on October 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. Applications are due on December 8th. Be sure to see Ms. Brinkley for information about applying. There will be a Governor's School for the Arts interest meeting on November 1st at 10.30 a.m. The Veterans of Foreign Wars are sponsoring the Patriots Pen Contest. Visit vfw.org for more information. Today's Panther Spotlight is Jaslyn Bailey. Mr. Kidd nominated her because she does an excellent job helping her friends in and out of class. Great job, Jaslyn. Let's see what the cafeteria will be serving for lunch today. Today is Where Is It Wednesday. See where Miss Hamrick's media and production students are taking us today. Hello, my name is Trevor Myers. I will be talking about a place in South America called Christ the Redeemer. Christ the Redeemer is located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The construction of the Christ Redeemer was proposed in the 1850s by Pedro Mario in honor of Emperor Pedro's daughter. The Christ Redeemer is 15 hours and 42 minutes by plane out of North. If you're planning on going to the Christ Redeemer, you're definitely going to want to fly there. It's 15 hours and 42 minutes by plane. Imagine how long it would be in a car. Hopefully you learn some new things about the Christ Redeemer. Bye. Today is also What's Up Wednesday. This summer, Disney released an updated version of the movie, The Haunted Mansion. Check out this behind the scenes video. The movie is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Come in. We've been dying to see you. So John here is the Waltzing Dead. They are down in the dining area. Betsy today is the maid of the mansion. And there's only two living creatures in Haunted Mansion, and that's me and my trusty dog who's always shivering. Madame Carlotta, she was uh, fairly young when she died. <laughs> he is becoming Ramsley, the butler of the mansion. How many happy haunts live in the haunted mansion? 99. Oh, it's not 99, it's 999. 999 happy haunts. But there's room for a thousand. 
The ride vehicles at the Haunted Mansion are called... The Coffin. Cursed Hearses? Casket Baskets. They would be Doom Buggies. What would my tombstone say if I had one at the Haunted Mansion? Here lies Mark. He was really, really tall. But that's not good if you trip and fall. Um, dear Betsy Kay, here she lay. Didn't die from rust, it was from dust. Here lies Bob, who was in the mob, and now he's dead, playing next to old Fred. Hey, it's better than a mole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a full wig, just a comb over, that's all I need. See what they've created today. Hurry back, hurry back. And that's the Panther Report for today. Please recite the school essentials with me. Today we will walk the Panther way, we will show kindness, earn respect, take responsibility, be of service, and work as a team. Have a great day, family, and don't forget, we walk the Panther way every day.